Hello and welcome back to Rift Wizard. We are well, let's let's be honest. My first run was not a lot to to go by. There's a, you know, I I I am going to be bad at this game for a while. And uh, certainly I could have done better than um, you know, <laughs> than what I did. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I'm going to die while also holding bag of bags. Uh, while while holding a lot of um uh, consumables and that's that's a that's rough the, the fact that I died with that many consumables but it was so close to beating that that level um, I'm not seeing anything except for conjuration and I don't think I want to take conjuration although it does give us a healing potion all right let's take let's take conjuration let's try conjuration the only conjuration we have is death bolt or wolf Death Bolt is pretty good. I like Death Bolt. Um, it's a it's a pretty tricky spell. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but what it makes up for with damage, it, it uh, sorry, what it lacks in damage, it makes up for with damage in the form of little skeletons that go off and do your bidding. It's a it's really nice, and apparently um, they also work. Um, in tangent with the enemy that you used the spell on. So for instance, these bats can fly over obstacles. So therefore our skeletal bats also have wings and they can fly over obstacles, which is kind of nice. So I'm gonna take that skill point. We're gonna go to the conjuration circle. Um, I would like to destroy one of these gates right away, but the problem is, um, I can't do that much damage to them directly. I, I'm more likely to do damage um, to them by actually summoning some uh, skeletons. Ooh, these guys. I wonder what happens if I turn these into... Oh, I can't. Okay. So those blow up on... Uh, you know, being anywhere close to them, basically. This is another reason why uh, Death Bolt's pretty good, is because they will hopefully proc them for me. Oh god. Okay, can we turn that guy into a... into a dude? And then maybe he can summon things for us? I'm not doing so good right away. He's not summoning, though. Skeletal Goblin Fire Demolitionist. Melee 5 physical damage. So he, he, they can't cast spells. Uh, I have, I've always liked a summoner. Uh, it's one of my favorite concepts for like, you know, fantasy games, RPG games. Um, I love the idea of like, you know, you, you struggle against an enemy for a while and then, uh, and then you get to use them on your side. So we're definitely going to use a healing potion. We're at two health. That's it's kind of ridiculous. Um, and then we're going to go to our conjuration circle. Let's see what we can do here. Probably we want to learn new spells, but what kind of skills do we have? Um, whenever you enter a new level, summon a Fey Stone nearby. The Fey Stone has 120 HP and is stationary. Whenever you cast a nature spell, and the Fey the, the Fey Stone heals for 10 HP. Whenever you cast an arcane spell, the Fey Stone teleports near the target and gains one SH. I don't know what that means. Hound Lord. Um, begin each level surrounded by friendly hellhounds. Hellhounds have 19 HP, 100 fire resist, 50 dark resist, and negative 50 fire, uh, ice resist. Or a bone guard. Begin each level accompanied by a four, by four bone knights. That's kind of nice. That's going to absolutely destroy our skill points, but I kind of want that. Could we increase our death bolt? Non-living units damaged by death bolt lose max HP equal to the damage dealt. Oh, interesting. Or we could give it more charges. I kind of like giving it more charges, and then maybe we can increase its damage down the road. But that does mean we are going to start with only four bolts, so I should have maybe taken an extra spell. Um, having more health would be nice. This this zone has a lot of healing potions. Holy Circle spells upgrades. Eh, it could be interesting. There are Holy Conjuration spells, uh, but I, I I think I'm gonna take the the uh, oof. 
This one is kind of rough, isn't it? Let's do it. We'll start on this end. Um, we do start with a bunch of knights, remember? So we don't have to cast a spell for a while, hopefully. And I'm just going to let them do their thing for a bit. Maybe we could, um, like, occasionally hit something with a bolt. Can we? Well, we have to. We have to be pretty close by in order to reach stuff. They have to. We also have to have line of sight, which is a problem, for sure. So we've already lost two of our knights. Okay, can we reach something? This guy's got six health. We would do how much damage? Nine. Okay, so they will likely die right away, but at least we do something, right? I want, I want a little arma, uh, armada, a little army of skeletons. Uh, did I not kill that guy? Okay, we're gonna have to use our. We're gonna have to use something. Summon friendly dragons in each unoccupied. Square. Okay, you know what? Let's let's use the dragon horn. I, I really don't want to <clears throat> use a uh, a mana potion if I can help it. So we're just gonna continue summoning things. It's working for us. You know? So what is this? Create a new unlocked rift rift at a random location in the current level. So maybe it was a little bit premature on those dragons, but that's okay. They're gone. They they we weren't gonna keep them for very long. So we get we get more health. That that's really nice. Uh, we're gonna get some more HP. Sorcery circle spell upgrades and passive skills. Tempting. More health with metal mantis and fey witches. Uh, also tempting. Stone shield. Holy spells. Passive upgrades. Okay, well, well let me see what we could do. Um, what could we do for holy? So we could, um, what you can do is you can filter a little bit. You can go conjuration. And then um, I can see all of the spells that work with conjuration. And then we can look at holy. So we could get choir of angels, for instance. Some is a choir of three angelic singers. These singers have 10 HP, one SH, 50% uh, resistance to fire and holy f damage, and 100% resistance to dark damage. The angels can sing, dealing two damage. Two fire and two holy damage to all undead demons and dark units in a five tile radius. Living u holy units in the song's radius are healed for one HP. The wizard cannot be healed in this way. The angels vanish after ten turns. Interesting. I don't know if I'm a huge fan, to be honest. Or we could do call archons. Uh, have 77 HP, 3 SH, and can fly. Have beam attacks which deal 14 lightning damage to enemies and shield allies. They I don't like that they vanish is the problem. It's really the main problem that I have. Um, that would mean I'm not a huge fan. Well, okay, hold on a second. D is Death Bolt sorcery? It is technically sorcery. So could we learn a another conjuration sorcery spell? So we would do like C, S. The only other one is Ghost Ball. Deal 11 damage to enemy units in a one tile radius. Summon ghosts at empty tiles in the radius. Ghosts have four HP, fly, foot 100 physical, have a melee attack. So you just you just summon a lot of ghosts. They vanish though. Uh, why do they have to vanish? And you get, you only get six charges. See, I like the skeletons because they don't vanish. They, they stick around until they're dead. Sorcery circle, holy circle. I'm going to go for health. I don't think that either of those are that great for us. Um, so we're going to go straight for one of these gates. Uh, we're going to get our, our skeletons right away. The, the witches have... Well, first of all, they have resistance to dark, which is not good because we only do dark damage. Um, but the good news is that I don't do any dark damage right now because... Oh my god, because I am actually out of spells. I could use a mana potion, but I don't really want to do that. Where oh yeah, that's right. We didn't we didn't pick anything with a gate or a circle. 
All right, we're gonna have to use our mana potion. That's just how it's gonna go. Metal Mantis. Snake. Um, okay, we could, we could, can we, are these ghosts completely resistant to dark? Yeah, they are. This is not a good place for us. I'm not a fan of this place. We got rid of one gate. I want to try and like hit, hit something with a spell. Um, well, these uh, kobolds are good targets for for dark bolts. Um, as are the metal mantises. These uh, metal mantises also charge. They have leap attack. We can only cast spells. You can't um, can't really do anything else, and that's a problem. I think I'm gonna need to teleport. This was a really bad place for us. These ghosts, um, fortunately, they only they die after they do their damage. They only do one dark damage, and then I think they're gone. No, never mind. They're, they're, they continue to hurt me. But we can't make skeletons out, out of them, unfortunately. I'm gonna use one of my healing potions. I accidentally waited. Um, this is a this is really bad. I really don't have the firepower for this uh, stage at all. Do we have something else we could summon? This would have been a good stage for the, the uh, dragons. Um, portal key, create a new online. We could try and grab all of the goodies and leave. What are these? Fey Witch, resist to dark. Well, that's not a good thing for us. How much damage do we do? Basically none. We do like no damage. Fifty percent resist. Am I doing zero damage to these guys? I'm doing some damage to the Fey Witch at the very least. All right, and then we create a skeletal Fey Witch that might actually do some damage to to some of these guys. Okay, I'm gonna make a run for some of the goodies. And oh, good, we got rid of that last gateway. Fantastic. So this wasn't ideal, but we did survive. So I, I count that as a win. I cannot believe that the Bone Knight actually survived. Any Bone Knight survived that mess? What a trooper. Okay, so we have a Ruby Heart. We have a Ruby Heart and we have a Ruby Heart. <laughs> Um, I guess I want to go to this one because it gives us another healing potion. And I know I can kill Spriggins. At the very least, I, I know I can take on Spriggins. I know now anything magical sounding has resistance to dark, maybe. Um, obviously there's an asterisk whenever I say, you know, any. <laughs> um... We should, I, I know I should like take on some more spells, but I do like to hold out for gates. We don't get to find out what these rifts do until we summon, it's like spawn into the, uh, the zone. The zone. The exclusion zone. So what happens when we turn those into, a, oh, can these not turn into a skeleton? I do like the sound effects in this game. They're they're not like overly piercing, but they've got that kind of like old school arcade quality that I appreciate. Oh, these uh, blobs are actually hurting me. I think that our bone knights can uh, take take on this zone exclusively. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let them do that. Go, my bone knight legion! Fight for me! Perfect. 
So we're at 125 HP right now. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, so we might want to use a portal disruptor if I don't see anything good. Oh, arachnid wizard. I don't know about that. Storm troll crown. Conjuration circle. Now there we go. That's, that's kind of nice. We could definitely do that. Bag of bugs, bag of lightning bugs. Durgar. Durgar. Gosha. Gotia. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go here. Uh, and I'm going to start taking some spells because we have a ridiculous amount of skill points right now. Um, oh yeah, we want to filter to Conjuration. Arc, Arc Conjurer. Conjuration spells and skills gain two max charges. Conjuration spells and skills gain three minion damage. Conjuration skill, spells and skills gain seven minion health. Um, one minion range, one minion duration. It's kind of nice. Bone Guard. Could we upgrade Bone Guard? I don't think we can. That's a skill that we have. Um, I want something that like increases our, I guess, our, I guess Arch Conjurer is kind of it. There's not a lot for Conjuration. You begin each level surrounded by friendly Hellhounds. Kind of like that. They don't disappear, right? No, they don't. Sure, let's uh, let's do that. And I kind of want to increase our death bolt again, but I we definitely need to learn some new spells. Um, maybe something non-dark would be cool. Flame gate. Whenever you cast a fire spell, summon a fire elemental. At the, I mean, that would that would be kind of cool. Um, frost fire hydra. Summon a frost fire hydra. Has seven, 16 health. I'm going to keep an eye out uh, for anything that doesn't, uh, like, where the, the, the ally does not die. Uh, the bear has a melee attack, which deals 10 physical damage. So, bear has 65 health. This is summon a giant bear. That's kind of nice. Hungry Maw. Summon a hungry Maw. Maw has 8 health, floats, and is stationary. 9 damage which pulls enemies towards it with a range of seven tiles. Kind of interesting. But again, I don't like, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of uh, conjuring something that disappears. Regain a charge of each of your conjuration spells. Interesting. We don't have a lot of conjuration spells. What about this, Restless Dead? Whenever a living enemy dies, raise it as a skeleton. Raised skeletons have max HP equal to that of the slain unit and deal five physical damage in melee. Skeletons of flying unit. Um, this effect lasts 15 turns. So this is kind of nice. We could like cast this and then um, basically just gain a bunch of creatures at once. So we'll gain that. I know it, la I know it doesn't last, but it, it's, it's, it's nice and it pairs nicely with our death bolt. Um, so I do want to increase um, Death Bolt. I think I want to increase its damage because that gives us a better chance of killing something and therefore summoning something. Um, or we could increase minion damage and that would increase our chances of summoning with our Restless Dead. That's Both are tempting. Non-living units damaged by Death Bolt lose max HP. I don't like that. Soul Battery. Deathbolt permanently gains one damage whenever it slays a living creature. Oh, that's interesting. I, I kind of wouldn't mind going for that. Can I undo what I've done? I'm, I'm assuming no. Okay, that's fine. So let's increase our damage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Restless Dead now. Of course, we, there's not a lot of living creatures on this floor, is it? L living construct. Yeah, uh, you have to keep, pay a little bit of attention to what you're actually fighting. Lightning bug swarm. Are they living? Yeah, they are. So now we're, we're actually creating some creatures. We're going to have to cast a couple death bolts ourselves. Um, these guys are resistant to dark, unfortunately, and they have a lot of health. 
So, not ideal. What about these Durgar? Oh, they are also resistant to dark. Shoot. Um, do we have a teleporter? Roll the dice to deal 666 dark damage to six random enemies. Sure. I don't know if that really did much of anything. So everything is resistant to dark, unfortunately, and that means we're doing very little damage. Uh, our death bolt is not going to do it. I don't know. How long does this last? 15 turns. Are we... So, are, yeah, okay, so we have 10 turns left. I like that information is available very easily. Um, all right, let's just use our death bolt on something easy like a, a fly swarm because it'll create a, a creature. Um, I'm going to try and move as best as I can. We're going to take some damage, but uh, I, I kind of want to just like let our knights do what they can do. This is not working, is it? Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be a bit more proactive. Mana potion? Oh, uh, we might die. Uh, okay, healing potion. <laughs> we we still have restless uh de um dead on. Oh, I'm 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 gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm surrounded by enemies, and they're all hurting me pretty badly. Okay, managed to get out of that. We need something... We need... We needed an area of effect. Use another healing potion. You know what? Uh, at a random location... Oh, that's not good. I can't even kill this gate. My skeletons die like immediately. Oh, this is awful. Uh, yeah, this is this is game over for sure. Okay. All right. Um, that was a poor way to go out on. But I I don't dislike some of the decisions I made. I, I think I did as best as I could. Um, I'm gonna leave it on this note. What is that? Oh, is this just like random moments in time? Interesting. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and definitely uh, throw some comments or uh, suggestions, tips in the comments. I'd, I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.